Hey guys, uh, first of all I want to say sorry for the content of this video because this will be yet another agility training video and I heard some of you didn't really want to see those so yeah, sorry for that but I believe uh, the content of this video isn't really important and isn't quite related to the subject I wanted to discuss today so yeah um, quite a few people asked me what my methods were for maxing out free to play and I believe I will be making a video about that later on, um, just to say all the techniques and the reason why I trained them that way. But before I make that video, I just wanted to discuss all the skills once and then see if it's actually worth making a video or not, so that's up to you guys. So my first 99 was cooking. I trained this mainly by cooking lobsters and swordfish. It was actually quite an achievement back then to get my first 99 and I believe that's for everyone the same getting your first 99 is something special even though it's a skill like cooking which doesn't take very much effort but still it's a 99 and your first one is pretty special and then for 200 mil I cooked wines only took uh, about 3 weeks but it's quite expensive so yeah you do get very fast XP but at a high cost. Then my second 99 was hit points in December 2007, uh, which is now called Constitution by the way. I achieved this at Giant Spiders in the Stronghold of Security. Um, I really loved that place, um, got 99 attack, strength, defense, all there. Uh, it's quite good XP actually, doesn't require too much attention. But even though, if you want to pay much attention, you don't really get faster XP in free to play, so it doesn't really matter too much. It's a good spot overall, and I believe most of the people actually use it as well, so... Then my next 99 was crafting, which I achieved in August 2008. I mainly made emerald rings, uh, because it was good profit back then. Almost no one made them. And yeah, it was really slow XP, I have to admit that. It's about 30, 33k XP per hour. That's probably why it took quite a few months to actually get there, but still, it was probably worth it. Maybe not, but still, I liked it back then, so yeah. Then also in August 2008, I got 99 smithing, which I achieved by superheating adamant bars, and I also smithed some adamant plate bodies. Um, it's a quite decent method, superheating adamant bars. It was good profit back then. The experience is better than you may think, uh, especially because you also get a lot of magic experience. And then I believe I did the last two levels with adamant plate bodies, because I couldn't really wait. Maybe it wasn't the most clever decision back then to waste money on those last two levels. Then the next 99 I got was fire making, which I got by burning maple logs at the Grand Exchange. Um, that was probably the most annoying 99 I had to get. I really disliked it, I'm not quite sure actually why. Because the skill, well it's not difficult or it's, or it's not um, expensive or, or anything, but I don't know. I really didn't like it at all. Anyways, the next skill I did was then wood cutting in October 2008. I did this by cutting willow trees in Remington. There are some trees just behind, um, I don't know, the switch from some of the quests, something with the reds. Don't quite remember actually. Anyways, I cut the trees there and then sold them to the general store of Remington for a few GPs. Then after wood cutting I got 99 ranged. Uh, by killing flesh crawlers in the stronghold of security, just one level above the giant spiders. I use these because they have quite low defense and they just are good experience. Although many say uh, giant spiders are much better, I'm not too sure about that. At flesh crawlers you can stay for quite a while, you don't need uh, as good armor so you can get some better ranged attack bonuses and still stay there for a few hours minimum so yeah was quite a good spot in my opinion 
Then in December 2008, I got uh, 99 fishing by fly fishing at Barbarian Village for trout and salmon. But I also did a lot of sword fishing at Karamja. Um, just because it's good money, not really for the XP, because that's quite terrible. Although I did have the glows from Fist of Gothic, so that quite helped a lot, but still not good XP. Then after that I got 99 magic by superheating and high me. Um, I'm not quite sure why I waited so long to get 99 magic, because I'm sure I was quite uh, close after getting 99 smithing. Um, but still it took me quite a few months. Doesn't really matter, got it anyway. So yeah, no problem. Um, after magic I got 99 mining in March 2009. I mainly did iron ore, coal and runite ore. Um, I did a lot of runites just because I needed the money for prayer. And actually most of my money that went to prayer came from mining. So yeah, that was pretty much the only skill I used back then for money. Well apart from uh, some superheating and fishing. But the biggest part was from runite ore. And then after that in April 2009 I did get 99 prayer by burying big bones which I bought with all the money I made from skilling. I never actually merged uh, before I maxed out. I didn't really see why I would. Um, was making plenty just from skilling. I did do some slow methods but still. I did get the money in the end so I worked for it not really by merging or anything so. I thought that was quite an achievement for myself. And after prayer I uh, did rune crafting. Um, did air runes, water runes. Air runes was just running uh, when the altar was still in Falador. And then water runes uh, I got a bunch of gob tokens and um, the gloves from Fist of Gothics. And I believe I got 90 to 99 um, by this method so was quite a lot of water runes and after that I got the engineering to 99 but that was two years later in September 2011 I did solo for the first 50 levels I believe then do it till level 96 and then I got to 102 I believe before I got members and this was with uh, some bigger parties so yeah I'm not sure if you guys are interested in uh, seeing a video about these methods. Um, some of them were from a long time ago and aren't quite relevant anymore. So these days there are new methods, better methods and the money that I make from certain skills um, just doesn't make money anymore. So I'm not sure if you guys want to see these methods. If they aren't relevant, um, just let me know and I'll probably make a video if you really want to. Uh, apart from that, I had a very busy weekend, so didn't really play much RuneScape. I did get an agility level and some fletching levels, I believe. Uh, but for the rest, I didn't do anything. And I got a very busy week coming up as well. So I believe um, I might get a few levels, but won't be something major at all. Um, hopefully agility level 85. Yeah, maybe more, I'm not sure yet. And I still have to practice a little for um, construction, which I will be doing for the bonus XP weekends. So I will probably save up my energy for the weekend and then hopefully get a decent amount of construction levels. Um, just hoping for the best. I hope I got some time that weekend. And yeah, we'll see about that. And sorry again for another agility video. I will probably be at the next course very soon so I will have some new footage then and probably do some other skills I still have a lot of questing to do before I can start Slayer so I should really get um, starting on that as well uh, probably this week, I'm not sure yet um, I do have a lot of work for the university and yeah, we'll just see how it goes I can't really predict how much time I'll have so yeah um, see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Bye.